Let's take a look now at Techless Structures Precast Detailing. I have a new model here and to start with let's show you that everything in Tekla is an object, such as this grid, and all objects can be easily modified. It is also easy to create irregular grid patterns. Tekla has an unlimited undo and redo capability, so let's undo those changes. You may receive a CAD drawing from an architect and they can be referenced into Tekla and we can trace over them and I will just add a few columns here to start with. Of course Tekla will also accept 3D CAD file and in particular IFC file. These are extremely useful and can be converted to native Tekla objects. We can produce our general arrangement drawings at any time so let's create one now. I'm just going to add some dimensions to one of the columns to show you how Tekla handles revisions. You can also turn on the reference model to show in the drawing. We will now go back and add some column reinforcements and column propping points from Tekla's out of the box library. When I resize the column, the Rio and props will adjust with the column. You can also easily adjust the position of the column in the model using the mini toolbar. Reopening the drawing again shows us that Tekla has clouded for us the changes and has even told us what the change was. Let's continue modelling in the columns, foundations and strip footings. Tekla has an extensive library of components. Let's have a look at some of the reinforcement components. You can see how easy it is to insert the Rio in the model. The components are parametrically driven and as demonstrated the Rio changes size when I change the size of the member it is associated to. As you can see it is very easy to change cover thickness, size, spacing and shape of Rio using the component options. Sometimes there might be a need to camber your members in the model. As you can see, that is not a problem in Tekla. Even the reinforcements will follow with cambering. If you are familiar with other CAD software, you will still recognize commands like move, copy, rotate and mirror. All views in Tekla are linked and they are really just viewports into the model. You can see here that I can model in one view and the member displays instantly in the other view. I can easily model between views which makes modelling easy. Let's add some hollow core slabs between the beams and then make a set of stairs going up from the ground level through to the first floor. We can use a component to array the hollow core slabs and then we can use a different component to cut one of the slabs and add a support to it as well. After that where you can create the stairs and bolt it down to the strip footings. Concrete tilt-out panels are quite common so we will go ahead and model one of them. First we will add some grout tubes, 
edge reinforcement and panel propping. In this case we also need some openings, so let's add a door and a window and we can see how the Rio is adjusted to suit. I will now finish off the panel by adding lifters that are automatically located according to the centre of gravity. In this demonstration the model is pretty much complete but there is nothing stopping us from producing reports or drawings at any stage through the modelling phase. Now let's create a fabrication drawing of the panel. Now I might open the panel drawing and as you can see it is pretty much complete. If however you wanted to make some changes you can easily move add or delete dimensions and create your own in large detail. Also note that all the drawing templates are automatically filled in and you don't risk making any manual errors. Say that we now need to revise the panel by making the window opening larger. Make that change in the model and the drawing will automatically update and show you what has been changed. Tecla comes with a comprehensive range of reports. I will just run one of the reinforcement scheduling reports as an example. These reports are fully customizable and can be done so by the average user. You can easily create general arrangement drawings with either one or several views on it and you can change the settings for each view individually. Let's change the 3D view to a shaded solid view for better representation. Sharing your model with Tecla structures is easy. You can simply publish your model to Tecla BIM site at any time during the project and send it to everyone else in the project for review purposes.